we go. Okay, so those of you who haven't watched much DNF who may be joining us, um, it's a few things to know about this game. For matchup specific stuff, uh, Striker can get in, uh, get in and do a lot of damage, do a lot of guard break. So just keep that in mind. So we kind of want to play this match similar to how we play against Grappler, except Striker has better tools uh, because she's got a slide that goes underneath our light attacks. She's got a guard cancel that's a little bit better than uh, than Grappler's. Oh, is that enough? That's just enough. And though it's a very similar uh, matchup once they get in, like Striker's got uh, solid mix-up potential. Uh, similar to Grappler, and she can do, she can kill us in two hits without awakening, three hits with awakening. See right there, that low goes underneath our our five AA, which is our fastest normal button, and she can roll to get around our five BB, which is this button right here. I should not have tried to show you. I should have just waited for it to hit naturally. Oh, is this going to guard break us? Or it's going to kill us? Alright, good first round. So we, as Vanguard players, want to do what we can to um, keep people away, right? And Striker, we really want to keep away because uh, our DP goes over her head in a few situations. Um, again, she, she has great mix-up. Great mix-up potential. But that is gonna be some great damage. Okay, let's go for our safe jump. And you see the numbers on top, right? I'm DED224. And this guy, uh, Luan, is DED177. Which means that I am the... Ooh! That invincibility came just in time. I'm the 224th ranked player in this game, and Luan is 117th. It's very simple. Can he do that into a combo? Ah, I tried to tech, but I had my hand on the block. Alright. Yeah. It's even, this isn't even that much of a stay out of the corner situation, because... Uh, striker, excuse me, has like corner to corner combos. Ooh. And she's got moves like that. If our uh, hurt box is extended forward a little too much, then um, that can happen. I think we just got this round though, because that's a guard break. And then we can just uh, finish it up there. So if we're in Awakening, we can compete with the guard breaking power that uh, Striker has. If we're not in Awakening, it's kind of, uh, kind of her game. Oh, it looks like Zushi just got up. She might be joining me on camera here in just a minute. Yeah, and you just saw there, uh, Striker has a DP, which she can, in fact, cancel into other moves. Ooh, that was a really good, uh, really good roll conversion on uh, their part. That was sick.
Oh. Ooh, I forget how f uh, freaking far that move goes. Uh oh, this might be it. Oh, that might have been it. I think I think they just dropped it. Ooh, ooh. Whew. Nice. Okay. Very good. Uh, very good match. We're one on one, one apiece. I just looked at Frame Gardens Frame on Dust Loop. This man really is just frame traps the character. Doom Glaive is his only plus on block attack. Yes. Found out the hard way striker can low profile the first hit of brandish. Absolutely. Uh easily. <laughs> Vanguard got a guard break, no way. Um Yeah. Uh it can happen. It can happen. This character was designed to get guard breaks. And by by gosh, Dolly Garn G, we are gonna get some guard breaks. Also gonna get some throws. So that's fun. Now, if she hits the DP like that, like at the very top, there's not much she gets afterwards. And so, if we, you know, do our best to kind of um, get as high as we can before going for our dive bomb then uh, we don't risk nearly as much as you would think um, going for our dive bomb. However, if she gets this at the bottom, she can cancel it into, like, a different move. Oh, yeah. She can also whiff, can um, whiff cancel us pretty well. That's all. It it's not easy. It's not easy for her to do that. Her spacing has to be pretty, like, specific. But it's cool when it happens. Okay, let's go for our safe jump setup right now. Into the low. Nice. Ah, oh, that sucks. Please be enough. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, the best. Yes, you can definitely get a set in. Uh, 0282, 0282 is the code. So please come join us. Uh, Lassie is who I'm fighting next, which is always fun. And by fun, I mean terrifying, but like legit hype. Because Grappler is a hype as heck character. And then after that, um, yeah, whoever, whoever is in here is who I'll be fighting. Oh, I was barely in range. Yes! Yo, okay, this is this is something about DPs in this. They have invincibility. If, if they have invincibility, they have it early. They do not have it for the entirety of the move. So, um, in situations like that, especially airborne DPs, you can, um, uh, you can trade, right? Kunoichi, uh, Striker, um, Dragon Knight is tough because that hitbox in Dragon Knights is really freaking good. But, like, that's the general rule, is that a lot of DPs lose their invulnerability pretty early. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind if you're fighting uh, someone who likes to DP a lot. Okay, so a guard break, uh, sorry, guard cancel is coming. That's fine, because we want them to use the meter. And then we will go ahead, and yeah, we'll get the win. Okay, I think this is a uh, set point here. Yes, Vanguard's DP is terrible. Same with Vanguard, Vanguard's DP, like... It, uh, is only, you know, invulnerable at the very beginning of the move. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, it's only invulnerable at the beginning of the move. You just don't have to care about that, because it's not very good, you're not going to see it often. But I've had times where, you know, I've been invincible and I go through part of a move, but I end up like... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We started this with a low poke, which is like our worst starter. So we cannot get the kill.
That was unfortunate, man. You had the right call. The spacing was just a hair off. Oh, but that was a good set. That was a really good set. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. I gotta get back into uh, not Crusader mode. I'm jumping like I'm Crusader, though. I'm gonna throw out that spear. Okay. So we think a guard cancel is coming soon, but not quite yet. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my gosh. That was stupid of me. I knew the move was there too, I just uh... Yo. That was a pure, a pure, like, two-hit combo game right there. That's sick. Okay, boss has got a really good question of what game is going to be next. Um, and I don't have a set answer. Because honestly, I do want to get some practice in with those games before I just bring them to stream, right? And so, like, I tried playing Melty Blood on ranked, and there was no one. I was there for like five minutes, so I don't think Melty Blood's gonna be next. Dragon Ball is the one I feel most, I feel most uh, comfortable with. So probably Dragon Ball. Nah, she went underneath. Yeah, we tried to jump out of it, but two fast buttons. Good stuff, man. Good game. Okay. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting these are first to two. I just... Uh, I have to uh, just remember that. Keep that in mind. So I'll just jump into uh, a rematch situation. See right there is the mix-up. If a striker um, rolls, they can easily roll through any of our big buttons, which are those, right? That was odd. <clears throat> if they roll, they can go through our 5B, they can go through our any of our S attacks, which are our like longest range, highest damage attacks. Um, right, like, a roll could easily get through those, but if they slide, they instead... No! Oh, I was gonna stay out of the range too, but I threw out my button that put me forward. But if they slide... They get underneath this move right here, our 5AA. And so it's a bit of a mix up. And then if they jump, our 5B actually like handles it really well. Good cancel. Good late cancel. That was really good. Ooh. Ooh, it's also fast. <laughs> it's also a decently fast move, so it's not bad. We may get 2 0 right here. Oh, that sucks. Good games, bro. Good games. <laughs> Was that on purpose? Did you drop it just so you could get the throw to finish it off? Man. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we're doing first of two. That was it right there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for the run back.